who are the real children of Israel. Now, the first time that the name Israel is mentioned in the scripture in the book of Genesis Jacob Jacob is wrestling with an angel and they wrestled through the night when the morning came Jacob had prevailed so his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Now this may be controversial to you, but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that Jacob, his name in Arabic is Yaqub. Yaqub. When they make mockery of what God has revealed to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they say Yaqub was an evil scientist. Wrong. He was a scientist of our people. He was original man so the question is asked when we join the nation and we have a, a student enrollment we're just enrolling in the classroom of our God he asked the question who is the original man when you look up the word original it means that from which all other humans come. Who is the original man? The answer is given. The original man is the Asiatic black man, maker, owner, cream of the planet Earth, God, of the universe. Now, we can write volumes on those words. We don't have time to go into volumes, but we'll just touch a few of the things that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us about the original man. You notice the enemy today wants you to call yourself everything but black. And for years, we would not accept black. You could call us the N-word, just don't put black in front of it. Now we're ready to fight. So hateful have we been made of blackness that anything that tied us to black or to Africa or to our original state, which never was a people running around in the jungles of Africa with bones in our nose swinging from trees. If we were that, and the white people who enslaved us were not our teachers, How then did we build their mansions in the South? How then did we design clothing for Massa's daughters and Massa's wife who taught us how to do the things that we did 
to make America what it is today. They were not our teachers. We had something innate that could not be destroyed by the slave master's oppression. We were born builders. We were born architects of civilization. But what are we building today? What has happened to the original man? That today, people look at us narrowly as though we never contributed anything to the onward march of civilization. But as a student of Elijah Muhammad, we said, no, he's a maker, owner. He's a father of civilization. But he's a god of the universe. That's a heck of a description of you. That's so far from your thinking about yourself. You say this must be a dream that somebody's telling me that about me. See? But God says in the scripture, my ways are not yours. My thoughts are not yours. I am from above. You are from beneath. And as far as the heavens are from the earth is as far away of my thinking are your thoughts. That has deep meaning. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that Yaqub was a scientist who saw in the genetic makeup of the black man that he could bring out of us a new people the opposite of the original. That is not evil. That is high science. Well, why did he say we were the Asiatic black man? I thought we were Africans. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us, if you go back to the ancient maps, this whole earth was called Asia. This part that has been recently named America, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Costa Rica, Brazil, Venezuela, Argentina, Peru. Those are recent names. This part of our planet was called West Asia. That part of Africa was called East Asia, the jungle of East Asia the undeveloped part and Europe was called Eurasia the earth was one and we are belonging to the earth not just America the earth is our home. 
you can take your black self to China, bring your wife with you, or grow up in China as a black person. You're not going to produce a Chinese. Wherever you are on the planet, you reproduce yourself. To prove that the earth is one, die on any part of the earth and see will the earth reject your body. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We belong to this planet and the planet belongs to us. Yaku saw in the original man of the nations. It's there in the Bible, in the book of Genesis. From one blood came all human beings. Well, blood is the life fluid of some living thing. So the scholars didn't just say from black people came all human beings. He said from one blood, they left it to us to figure out what blood that is. That is genetically powerful enough to produce the entire human family. Now those of you who are lettered, that study biology and genetics, they teach you that dark skin is dominant and light skin is recessive. I'm not dealing with race to exalt one group of people over another. I am just dealing with actual facts how you interpret those facts will either show that you are racist or you're believing you are better than somebody else because they came from you. That's not the object of this teaching. The object of this teaching is to straighten out the planet that is confused now about the origin of man. Black, brown, red, yellow, and white. If dark skin is dominant, dominant meaning strong, Light skin is recessive, meaning weak. The geneticists say you can get the recessive from the dominant, but you cannot get the dominant from the recessive. You learned that in college. I went for a few years and I, I, I learned that too. Now look, look, the scriptures or the geneticists say dark eyes are dominant, light eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, recessive. You can get the recessive from the dominant, but you can't take two blue-eyed persons and produce one whose pupil, whose eye is black. What does that tell you? 